Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy and welcome back to some more Sail Force. It is still technically just about the uh, epic free game of the week. It will be until I think one hour after stream closes. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed this game when I played it last Friday. Uh, so I thought we would uh, come back and have another look. Do some more sailing around. Uh, and I'll have to completely muck around with the VODs, because I currently have it the VOD saved to the uh, one-shots playlist. And it's not going to be a one-off. <laughs> it's it's going to be at least a two-off. Alright. Clickety-click. What does the arcane like you have to say to us? Also, the game, is, the game is very loud for me. Is it very loud for you guys? I do not remember. I've got my personal headphone volume down to like 10%. <laughs> uh, so if it needs to go down for you, do say. Uh, but yes, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, exciting times are afoot. What's this? Okay, like the Maelstrom expansion. I assume that's DLC? Yes, that is in fact DLC. It has opened the page on the FQ school. That's fine. We will come to that maybe at some point, if I if I do really like it. Uh, let's jump on in. Uh, we have a king girl in the chat. Welcome. Saying exciting times and feet. Now, last time, do do do. We went to here. We grabbed a. Uh, this pretty gem, if I zoom in it goes away, and we did have it on one of our boats. Um, I was sort of expecting it to kind of still be on one of our boats. I won't lie to you, and I'm not sure exactly where it's gone. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure that's fine. I really hope we don't have to go back and do it again. And if we don't have to go back and do it again, do hope we haven't broken it. Uh, <laughs> uh but yeah, this is this is cute sailing game. You 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 wander around on the seas. You do some fishing. You you blow some stuff up with cannons, and it's cute. And it has this sort of Animal Crossing aesthetic. It's got a fishing mini game, which is the most important thing for any game to have. Uh, yeah, we pulled it off all. Of this rock dead ahead of us. That is where we found it. Uh, we also discovered that you can shoot clams with cannons. <laughs> King Girl says there can never be too many sail around as just the little guy games. No, I don't I don't think there can be. Um, we are gonna sort of trim on him and try and remember. How to shoot the cannons. Aced it. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, so we started out... If I go into the radial menu... We started out... On the old Kiss from a Rose here. Uh... Playing as Captain Toot. And we rescued first mate Goose? Where's Goose? Hang on a sec. I've got to go find Goose. Uh, Goose? Where's Goose gone? Is Goose on my boat? Hmm. Uh, I don't know where Goose is gone. We had, we had first mate Goose on the kiss from a rose, but Goose seems to have, uh, Goose seems to have done a runner, which is a little concerning. Hang on. Manage dock boats? No, I don't have any dock boats, okay. Right. Double check that none of these are Goose. No, none of you are Goose. Poison. 
Uh, I remember the other names, like Yo under Drexton or Yao under Drexton. So it has, it has a... Uh... It has remembered the crews, just not, whoops, just not, uh, not Goose. Well, that's concerning. Ha! Huh. Okay, I don't know what happened to Goose. But we had, we had Goose. Not an actual Goose. Um, a, a crewmate called Goose. We, uh, we uh, seem to have well and truly beached ourselves. Oh! <laughs> Turns out if you beach yourselves hard enough, you, uh, you actually get reset, which is quite interesting. Ow. I did just, I did just hit that. Yeah. I did just hit that. Um, but yeah, we were just sort of sailing around and we found the crystal, which we seem to have sort of lost. But I'm sure that's okay. Oh, there's a there's a there's a boy on that. There's a it's a sneaky sneaky shell on that. Grabbing pearls. Pearls give us money. Money's good. Uh, and having grabbed our special shell, we now need to go and find the old uh, researcher dudes to, to show it to. But I don't know where he's currently at. He doesn't seem to be on our on our little zoomed out mini map, which is interesting. That's probably fine. Oh no, here he is. He's at Gold Coral Land. So there we go. I don't know if I like that you can fast travel on this. They recently introduced fast travel to Sea of Thieves and everyone's like, oh, I don't know if this is a good thing. I, for Sea of Thieves, it definitely isn't a good thing, having fast travel. For this, uh, I'm not so sure. I think sailing across the stretches from, from island to island might get dull. Anyway, here we are. At the old Gull Coral Lands. Friend, the professor is over here somewhere. I think he's there. There we go. And yeah, if you look at the bottom of the screen, we've got a compass showing the wind direction. We've got a little uh, bar that lets us trim our sails to catch the wind and go a little bit faster. Sometimes it doesn't help if you're going just completely against the wind. And the wind changes very, very often in this game. So you have to constantly be sort of fighting it. Right, this is the this is. Hello. Looks like a loop pile down ahead. Apparently, that's interesting. You got it down. I knew that harpoon gun would do the trick. Hope it wasn't much trouble. Uh, the Dark Skull Clan got to it first. Oh my god, I'm kind of surprised they have the word sodding in this game. <laughs> That Sodding Skull Clan is such a pain in the Petri dish! <laughs> I was not expecting that kind of language in this game! I should really finish developing that death ray. Thank goodness this thing didn't fall into the wrong hand. What's that? The valleys were calling it a dead rock. Oddly appropriate. Would you mind turning that dead rock over to me for analysis? It feels weird and smells like old kraut milk or we needs it, must have the precious. What's gonna happen to Professor Stony Baloney? I don't even know who Professor Stony Baloney is. I'll be super duper careful with him, of course. Let's see what we've got here. Boom. Okay, he turned it into, into Luminate. The initial readings are off the chart. I'll continue running diagnostics. We'll likely need more dead rock samples to glean anything of value. Sail forth, roll credits, and see what you can uncover. Perhaps start by scouring the green ruins. Ooh! A green place, you say? I've never been to a green place. Oh, and we've been dropped humbly into the, uh... The Luminade... Uh... Buying stuff menu. Uh, there's, there's various different upgrades you can get for your ship. Most ships can only have one at a time. 
Uh, however, buying some of the better guns might be worth doing. A swivel gun, a chase gun. Let's grab a chase gun. Boom. About to see some serious caca. Yes, everything explodes every time you reset something. Uh, but I do like a good, I do like a good tech trick. Seek out the dead rock. Don't forget to check in from time to time. We're in this together, and I'll help any way I can. Marvelous. Uh, let's see if we can avoid bumping into him. I think it's always good. Anyway, let's go have a look at that. Uh, that loot pile. Maybe stopping by some fish first. Oh, I apologize. I'm very, very snuffly today. I'm not quite sure why exactly. Oh, that was a trog nod. There's actually loads of fish here. There's also a glowy red skull, which I think is something we need to shoot on that place up ahead. But that's okay. Yeah, basically, like, going to different spots will give you new fish to, to catch. So it's always worth fishing around a little bit every place you go. And new fish give you new colours for your, for your boat. And then you can take pictures in various places to get, uh... Yeah, them's definitely bad guys, aren't they? Take pictures in various places to get new decals for your sails. Got them. And we do have those other boats. They're probably other boats. We do have um, plenty of, of other ships with us as escorts. So I'm not expecting the combat currently to be too much of a problem. What's that? Oh, that is the researcher. I just had a marker on him, I guess. What is the other boat that we saw? I can't even, can't even see it. Oh, it's over here. No, wait, that's just the island. Maybe there wasn't another boat. Ah, well, no worries. Ah, but yeah, there's kind of lots of sort of things to do. Some of them are interesting. Some of them are less interesting. Uh, they get, like, checked off once you finish them. Oh. Kringland. A blue island. Interesting. Uh, this looks like a scary bad guy fort, so I maybe won't go there just yet. Uh... Oh, there's, there's two Doc Zissos. Interesting. He's in two places at once. What I might do is head over to Fine Cloud Islands. Because we now that we have the harpoon gun, we discovered that we can board and, like, capture enemy ships. Which is something I really want to try doing. Um, now what I do want to make sure is that everyone's kind of repaired. So I, I do have a little bit of a tendency to, to bump my boat around. Where are the bad guy ships? I don't know. There's something over here, which I don't think is a bad guy ship. Ah. Hey sailors. Jiminy Biscuits, my glad to see you. I'm in a real pickle here. 
think you could make a delivery for me. It's a real straightforward deal. We're already ready already. I knew you'd say yes. I'm not sure if that was a yes, but sure. So here's the deal. We're making a real hot pot of slop. So I went looking for a key ingredient. Everybody knows you can't make good slop without spicy mama peppers. <laughs> um, okay. Luckily I've tracked it down. Just need you to take it to Gullright Beach for me. Check it out. Gullright Beach. Sure, okay. Heck yeah, I can almost taste it. This guy is getting <laughs> actually swamped. <laughs> yes, you did, King Girl. Um. Hello. Okay, yeah. I thought you had more you wanted to say to me. Uh, this looks like it's I'm just another person. Skullboat in front of us. Where is Skullboat in front of us? Oh, over there on the left hand side, I guess. Amazing. Alright, grab the new crewmate. Who's moved below deck. We've just sailed straight through some seals. Uh, and I want to make sure, actually. Brass knuckles, which I have a sneaky suspicion I've already attached to someone else. Yeah. Outfit mods. There we go. Oh, and we've got armor plating as well. That's pretty swish. Okie doke. I don't think I hit that. Uh, can we yoink it? It's victory odds, 73%. Four target votes. So yeah, basically, I've got more crew and I've got... Uh, I've got more crew and I've got um, the brass knuckles. Which means... Oh, I can't add it to my fleet. I guess my fleet's too big already. Uh, which means I, I've got a, a much better chance of um, winning, basically. Send the captured boat to my dock. And we can also grab the crew! And we grabbed a new item. What was the new item we grabbed? Perfect repeating chaser! Range gun with multiple barrels to fire faster. I don't know, I quite like that our swivel gun has a wide fire arc. So I might leave it off for now. I might see about equipping it to one of the other boats. Because, um. Kiss from a Rose, I think, has a swivel gun. But a second rate swivel gun, sure. We'll give you this. <laughs> it's a little boat, but it's going to be very, very upgunned. Actually. Do we have any other worthwhile guns? Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so that's combat. It's a lot easier now we have the hard boot because we can just board and let our. There's something over there. I'm not sure what, but something. Yeah, we can just board and let our crew do the hard work, I think. Ah, we have a sassy cajole. Welcome. How's it going? Oh yeah, and we can we can test this out, which we've not done before. We can yoink stuff. I didn't see what we yoinked, but we can yoink stuff. At some point, we might even be able to hit this blooming uh, 
this blooming seashell. Haha! <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you're having a good day, Shaskill. There's a lot of other boats around. Got you. Phenomenal. Oh, that looks like a bad guy thing. I assume I want to shoot that. Ow! Ow, it certainly wants to shoot me! Ow! Uh oh! I beached myself! It's fine. It's fine. We killed it and we didn't get hit too much. Wonderful. Ah, uh, yeah, I might need to repair myself just a little bit. Oh god, that was that was a lot of damage that I did to me there. Ah, uh, Shaska says, I saw you go live earlier. I think it's the whole cycle of. I don't like seeing myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep, that's, that's, yeah, we, we've been there. We know that deal. That, that's a rough deal. Hello. Okay. Your, yeah, your, your sailor's for hire. That's fine. And then who is this? Are you more pirates? Where's, where's my fleet? Okay, my fleet is sort of lagging behind somewhere. Hi. Weigh anchor and hoist the mizzen. Yeah, you're pirates. Ah. Uh, amazing. Just, yeah, we just blast them a bit and then bore them. And it generally goes pretty okay. Uh, and we also have an Orden Earth in the chat, welcome. Saying, is this a retro game? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it came out in, I think, 2001. Not, not 2001, 2021, there we go. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, 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 I think, relatively new. It's very cute. Grab some more sailors. At some point I am gonna need more wood to repair stuff, because I'm guessing I'm taking probably a heck of a lot more damage. And I'm I'm only getting new boats. I'm not I'm not getting wood from them currently. I don't know if it's helpful to have boats in your dock. I guess it means we have like a reserve fleet. That is a shock. That is a full-on shock. Are we worried by the shock? Do we shoot the shock? The shark seems to have gone. Okay, that's probably fine. Oh, that says it looks cool, TBH on GameCube. No, no, this is Epic Games. It is very cool art-wise. I, I do really like how it looks. All right, we're gonna wander down to Tidesway Point to sell some stuff and introduce those who uh, have not met them yet to the... oh god, what are they called? I think they're called like the Angler Wranglers or something? A <laughs> uh, 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 group of particularly enthusiastic uh, merchants. Uh, Shaka is off for studying. Ah, enjoy your studying, Shaka. I hope it goes well for you. And it says, people still release Game Boy games, do they? That's kind of crazy in a way. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, don't crash, don't crash. I forgot to activate harpoon mode. Come on. 
Am I... There we go. I made a save. Got ourselves another pearl as well, which is always lovely. Where'd they go? They're over here. I am a surprise to Shaskill here. There was one person that made an NES game about three years ago. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, there's no reason why they couldn't, exactly. There's no, certainly no reason why they shouldn't. The old Angler Angler Emporium welcomes you. Fishes, photo films, and fancy paints. Alright, Angler Angler Gloves. Hand over the fish. Uh, take a fish. Talk to someone else. I don't think we have any photos? Yeah, no, we didn't take any photos. Boop, talk to someone else. And then harumph. We've got new fishy pigments. I wonder what they are. Uh... I can't tell because I don't know what we had before, but it's fine. I'm quite happy with quite happy with my my fleet how they are to be honest. I mostly was here for the money. Uh, Old Enough says six five zero two chip was really heavily used. I don't unfortunately I don't know anything <laughs> enough to know what that means. Um, someone is porting port to the N sixty four. Apparently they've got cease and desist. It. That's kind of a shame. But, uh, I can also see why. Like, I, I'm not particularly in favour of... ...of almost any intellectual property law things, really. But given that we live in a world where they exist, that does seem very consistent. I might not be out of range. Amazing. We're getting all the goodies. We're gonna be rich. Again. No, oh, I missed him. I missed him. He was too... I was too late. Uh, Shasta says... Official releases. You don't think Nintendo's gonna get licenses anymore? No, that's probably true. Do do do. Alright, so this is the other merchant guy. He manages our ships and stuff. Uh, and we can sell lots of cargo to him, which is why we're here today. Uh, and he does, yeah, he does our blueprints. Seems we have an upgrade blueprint. My head bulb fluid boils with the desire to stock innovative items. And yes, he is a slug in a helmet. Um, <laughs> says the, the only worthwhile unretro game is Blood Pork. <laughs> I've never heard of this. That's astonishing. Um, so yeah, let's. What was this new vessel blueprint that we got? Oh, we have the the idea and the osprey. Oh wow! Look how many cannons that thing has. Wow. Um, I think the idea is the boat that we're currently sailing. So the Osprey, a catch rig specialised in frontal assaults, vulnerable for frontal other angles. Back now, they'll throw in a free thingy. Um, oh, I've got an achievement. I'm not sure what I've got an achievement for. Let's see if I can manage dock boats. Yeah, okay, we can we can bring out, we could, we could hide away one of our boats. We could hide away I'm blue and bring out the Osprey. Or maybe we could not do that. Uh No, I I did that wrong. Hang on. 
<laughs> Hang on. Right, I want to be managing the, the Sky Bounty. Although, having said that... Well, I want to look at the Sky Bounty and repair it. Maybe we'll try this. Oh, it needs a lot of repairs, that's fine. Manage crew, we currently just have the captain. Grab some more crew, that's fine. Uh, we also need to rename this. Um, oh my gosh, what's going on? Uh, all N64 games released for 32 bits. Blah, 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 blah. Same dev behind the Bloodborne D-Make. I don't even know what a D-Make is, to be honest. But I guess we know what our theme for, for uh, ships that we get today is. <laughs> Last time it was songs that are older than Dizzy. Today I guess it's going to be D like <laughs> D retroing games basically. Um, all right, let's uh, let's quickly just take all of the guns off this. It's for a good reason, I promise. And then we're going to put them on. Well, we're going to put the best guns that we have on the boat that I'm driving, basically. And then the Sky Bounty will get all of the others. Also the Sky Bounty, we didn't actually rename last time. Uh, is it on Steam? I think it is on Steam. I have it on uh, Epic because it's this week's Epic free game. And it will be, uh, at least in my region, for the next hour, no, three and a half hours, I think? Uh, so I'd rec strongly recommend getting a hold of it. Uh, oh, I did one up there. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I'd strongly recommend getting a hold of it while while you can. Right at the front, we want the triple guns. Point uh, at the front of the sides, that is. Then leading forward, I want one swivel gun for sure. And probably two chase guns. And then here we can have the dual guns. And for a mod we can grab the brass knuckles, that's fine. Uh, hang on, double check, yeah, yeah, that did. But, and then we go back to the Sky Bounty. We can throw on kind of what guns we have. Which is admittedly not as many as we might like. Uh, that's the front of the ship. That's where we want to pop a swivel gun. Uh, I guess you're just getting a lot of, like, random guns. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's hi hideously unbalanced. Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Right. There we go. Uh, actually, up oh, there you can have mods. Do we want to put armor on you? We'll plop armor on you, just so you can sort of stay. There we are. <laughs> Doing a little bit of a sort of a uh, a thump about, and everyone's fixed. Everyone's ready. We've spent almost all of the money that we just got, but it's fine. Uh, we need to deliver some food, don't we? Yes, let's go deliver some food. Old nurse says, I get some people like, oh, Google it. I'm not sure that really works sometimes. I don't know what you're referring to there, but it's probably fine. Alright, what have we got here at Gull Wright Beach? There's another boat lying around that looks like pirates. <laughs> yep, it's Skull Clan. Alright, Skull Clan. Get ready to get wrecked. Oh, 
swords. Oh, we didn't even need to... There's only one guy on it! Oh god, we're being, we're being blown up by our own ship. Um... I think we, we're gonna salvage this for stuff. There we go. Ah! Oh, somebody's shooting us. Oh god, okay. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Forward! I didn't realize we were in range of the of the big tower. Oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, I think our little friendly escort boat just blew it up for us. That's nice. Ah, you turn so slowly when you're going into the wind. All right, we can speak to the, the lighthouse guy. I don't think. We currently have anything to give you. <laughs> They're very spooky. Uh, found some old timey stuff. Got a new item for you. I do, in fact, not have a new item for them. But it's fine. So, yeah, they, they, they take artifacts from the old world and completely misidentify them. Which is rather amusing. Oh, and thank you so much for the subby, Trans Rights! <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. Uh oh. We've run aground again a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, we'll just we'll just back up on oars. We'll blast that thing while it's there. And we won't blast that thing. There we go. Now we'll blast that thing. Do a little bit of a turn. Grab a pearl, uh, we will get stuck. <laughs> Trying to three point a very large boat. Look. There's something over there as well. I don't know what it is. But we've got to find someone to give our. Of our spicy mama peppers, too. <laughs> um, also, uh, says, was a pleasure to get going. Thank you so much for stopping by, Alden. Um, just what it says, you did it with a truck. A boat should be trivial. I hope so. I'm not sure those are exactly comparable. Uh, hello? This boat appears to have been heavily damaged and abandoned. We may be able to salvage some supplies from it. Should we try? Try to salvage from the derelict. We managed to scavenge some extra supplies before it sank. Sweet! Oh, and then we exploded it. Okay. Now, let's not crash into... Oh. Hang on. That's fine, actually. Let's not crash into our... Oh, that's a pirate ship. That's a pirate ship. Avast! Ow! He hit me. Yoink. Oh, do we actually lose people? in the fight. Do they, like, die, die? Oh, my crew is getting wrecked. Well, you can get wrecked as well, Ben. Can't you? Ow. Our boat is damaged. We can... Yeah, I know how to... Really? You're, you're tutorialing me about this now?
In the middle of a fight? You're telling me how to repair my boat? Um, yeah, I think our crew might have, like, died died. Possibly. Which is not good, if so. I maybe didn't quite realise that that was a thing that happened. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I can't turn fast enough. Blast it! Shoot them! There we go, we killed them eventually. Um, I think I still hung up on Spicy Mama Pepper. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, so that says, when else would you repair a ship? I don't know, like, when you're safe? I would have thought. Um, yeah, hang on, so can I... Manage crew. Oh, I guess they did die. I guess that's what happened to Goose. I wonder if we can get them back from the, the trader. Might need more money to get them back. Possibly. <laughs> that is not true. That's, that's not exactly true, Charles Right? Because you will be in danger again and you'll need to have a fixed ship for that. Ooh, what's this? This is a glub gill. Odd little squeakers that make relatively high-pitched sounds to indicate danger, confused by the sky. Aren't we all? Aren't we all a little bit? Alright, we haven't yet found whoever it is that we're supposed to deliver this stuff to. Great. So if you don't repair during a fight, you're on the risk of having to repair after the fight when the ship has sunk. Okay, fair, I guess. <laughs> King says, the only hit point that matters is the last one. Oh, ancient junk! We like ancient junk. Ancient junk is what we give to the lighthouse people. And they give us luminate for upgrades. So now we know what the risks of boarding are, I might just stick to blasting them, to be honest. Unless it's a particularly good boat. You want to where the lighthouse is operated by archaeologists? It's operated by creepy immortal shadow beings, or actually light beings. Um, who just happened to have an interest in archaeology, I think. <laughs> King girl. Poor, poor King girl, I'm sure that's not true. Gen Alpha is like current, like, 13 year olds and under, right? Says, are the creepy immortal shadow people single? I think they're multitudes, if I'm honest, King Girl. I haven't asked. That's <laughs> just going, oh, I was wondering where this was. Exactly, exactly, Shaskor. Alright, who on earth am I giving this blooming bit of food to? I should actually check my fleet. Make sure everyone else is fully repaired as well. Oh, going into the wind is such a chore! <laughs> Chance that says, King Girl, I'm not Jin Alpha, I, m I might start calling you that. <laughs> How rude! How unbelievably rude! Oh, that was a mess. Uh, come on, turn the boat. There we go. 
The idea of calling someone younger than you ancient is quite funny. I mean, I find it quite amusing calling people who are like not not very much older than me ancient. Uh, I think that's a bad guy thing. I think I need to shoot that. I'm not quite certain. It's got a target on it, so I'm gonna say yes. I. Do. Amazing. We killed it. We killed it dead. Where in the hell am I supposed to be taking these mama pants? everything that is to be yoinked. Cheska says, you may be ancient, I was ancient when the big bag happened. Ugh. Maybe they're on the inside? It is this place, right? Yeah, Gullright Beach. Hmm. Okay, now we've got a little bit of speed. Now we've got a little bit of speed. But it's very out of range. We'll get it at some point. Hey, we did it! Oh, a map fragment. That's nice. Um. Hmm. No. No one's here to give stuff to. I never actually sold all my stuff to that guy, did I? I just looked at the new blueprints I got. Uh, Shesk says, in my culture it's believed nothing exists until it is seen. Okay. Where the heck are you? Oh, it's over there! I'm just an umpty. Oh, it's bloody downwind again! It's amazing the ability for everything useful to always be downwind. <laughs> it's quite impressive in this game. I can't arrange. Oh, I thought that was going to be efficient as well, but apparently not. Get a little whoosh going. Ah, it's these rocks. Hello there. I come bearing mama peppers. Also, to Relnor. Hello and good day to you. Special delivery. Mamma mia! I don't believe it! Why, well, I had a dream about spicy mama peppers last night! That's funny, so did I. Um, <clears throat> now, here it is before me. Weird. Life is strange like that, don't you think? Can't wait to get cooking. Take a little something for yourself. Thank you, Charles Oates. I can almost taste it. You're the best! Do you feel that? It's like deja vu or something. See you around. Fair enough. 
All right, I think that's everything we have to do here. Uh, I'm gonna head back here and actually remember to sell my stuff, and also see if uh, we can get our deceased crew members back. Because that's a little unfortunate if they're just dying a lot. Um, that's not ideal, for sure. Pointing directly into the wind, which means we turn so slowly. Oh, I didn't notice that we had the sign telling us what the boat was called on the back of the boat. That's pretty neat. And the wind is turning with us because it hates us that much. <laughs> game, you are killing me. You are actually killing me, game. <laughs> Oh. This is the slowest anyone has ever moved. Oh, hang on, if I if I turn myself left a little bit, I might be able to pick up just the teensiest bit of breeze. There we go. Just enough to actually get off the starting line. There we go. Changing again. Alright, Otto arrived. Hi there. Precisely what you're looking for. Uh, sell some cargo items. The power of capitalism compels you. I bloom and hope it doesn't. Right, sell that, sell lots of pearls. I'm not even sure what this is. But I don't think we want to sell it. Uh, I think that's all of our stuff that's for selling. Do you feel the power of the bargain you received? Um, recover my lost vessel? Done. Oh. Oh no, I don't think I can get the crew back. Oh, that's... I'm gonna quickly do a Google on my phone. Um... Do... -do, -do. Uh, Trustway says they died, Dizzy. Well, okay, but like, we were able to get the crew back when we sank our other boat, and they died then. Uh. Uh, do do do. Is there a way to discard to recover unique crew members? There's a thread in the Steam thing that actually doesn't exist. Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll we'll be fine. Now that yeah, as the translate says, they probably got rescued by dolphins. <laughs> they got shot in the ways by a cannon. Um. Uh. Oh no no, our, our, our crew who we lost, we lost during a boarding action. They only got like punched in the face. Um, alright, where are we heading to? I guess we're heading to Mossmith, right? He's... Dog Siso is hanging out in a lot of places right now, but uh, Mossmith is where we got pointed to. So let's go to there. Do some story stuff. See if we can find some more pretty gems. Dolphins are smart and have great menus. Oh, we got some like interesting pillars. Curious. Let's go have a look at some of these interesting features before we... Oh! Oh, I don't know what happened there. Don't know what happened 
there at all. Chid or Thunkin. Hi there. Hi there, Chid. Well met. I think you can help me out. I've got an important item I need delivered. Sure. We're good at deliveries, eventually. My buddy's usually a real good cook. Lately their food is too bland. I need some rich metal juice to kick it up a lot. Take it to them and save the feast. They usually hang out at Ancient Stone. Here, let me show you. Oh wow, that's very far away. But yeah, we can go there. Any questions? No? Alright. Phenomenal. Uh, yes, actually, I have a question. What happened to the rest of the universe? <laughs> where, where did it go? Uh, see where empty now. I think we take better care of our packages than every. I'm sailing around and around this rock. I do not think I'm supposed to be. Oh, this looks like a new fish. <gasps> Look at those spooky boys in the water there! Oh, I want one. I want 12. Whoop, whoop, there is a bit of a fighter. What are you? Allo fin, it's a pumpkin fish. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to read what it said. Sorry. Once per year, this creature rises from the ocean floor to bring strange gifts to all the sincere children of the world that believe in it. Business has been slow. Oh, well, I like it. Bye. Oh, that's like a. I think that's a lighthouse over there. the wind. It hates me. Oh, and crows. Hello, crows. If I try to get quite farther on that path, when the side angle is 180, and yes, some science. Alright. Hello, Valley of Assistance. Oh, okay. I thought you'd like wanted me. I guess we still need to investigate the mysteries of the dark. Yeah, that's kind of sort of why I'm here. I, I kind of thought you knew the mysteries of the dead rock, or at least where they were. Can I avoid bumping into this thing? Do you reckon? Uh, yes, just about. Well, there's plenty of goodies around. Oh, Shaska is off. Enjoy whatever it is you are off to do. We will certainly enjoy some sailing. It's not a fish, but we caught some ancient junk. Okay, I guess we're just sort of looking? Looking around? I mean, there's lots of kooky old stuff here. So it makes sense that this is where we're looking for one of these kooky weird rocks. Ow. Oh, okay. If they're floating in the water, it turns out that you just, uh, you just crash into them. I guess you were supposed- I guess I was supposed to shoot that with my- with my guns, and I didn't. There's something over here. Not yet sure what it is, but it's a thing. Uh, what is the wind talking about? 
Is this another enemy but has a woman has captured the rock already? It looks like a No, that's just a light on it, okay. Uh, ahoy there. Oh You're one of the lighthouse keepers. You uh you seem to have lost a foot there, sir. Hello? Zzz. Interesting. No, I guess you have nothing to say. I wonder if I need to... No, that didn't wake you up. Okay, fair enough. Can't say I didn't give it a good go. <laughs> Buzzing box. Buzz. Buzz. Marley blunderbuss. Hello. How do you feel about a little business venture? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> what I'm seeing is a beehive and a buzzing box. Ever consider entering the lucrative field of courier delivery services? Delivering packages is my true calling. <laughs> Bravo, we have a verbal compact. Convey this completely harvest parcel to Scampy Numblin. That wretched old penny gobbler I used to do business with. You'll likely find Scampy scallywagging about the Ancient Stone. Oh, we already have an delivery for Ancient Stone. Fantastic. One last thing. Don't even think about opening this beauty. Perish the thought. <laughs> Off with you now. Be quick about it and make a swift exit once the deed is done. Don't want to overstay your welcome. Wish I could be there to see that stupid face. Wonderful. Okay, I'm sure this won't. I'm sure this won't come back to bite us at all. Captain more fish. Uh, yeah, ship shape shop. Which is, of course, slightly downwind, because where else would it be? Eddie Orion, step right up, experience these terrifying prices. Hello! You're new! This feels right, does it not? You're a slightly different green. A group of sailors like yourselves must require goods and services. This business is provide such. Let's talk about turkey. I have precisely what you're looking for. Let's make a deal. Um, sell some cargo items? I don't know if I have any cargo items to sell. I do not. That's fine. Uh, let's talk boat upgrades. Oh, you have a different flag. And you have a gleaming deck gun. Which does a bit more damage than a regular deck gun. They are currently right that none of my vessels have a free slot. But some of my ships have substandard guns. So I'll take... I'll take three, sure, why not? Uh, right, we're out of here. How about an ace of spades? Three of diamonds? Oh. Because uh, it was Sky Bounty that we outfitted with, with some really substandard sets of guns. Alright, so that can go off. Uh, 
also I noticed just then we had what's this? Bus rusted repeating chaser. We also have an off-brand spread gun. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'll have a rusted repeating chaser, sure. So that sounds interesting. Uh, right. I'm still supposed to be looking out for any, uh... Those dead rocks that I might find. But I'll maybe around here somewhere. Ugh. Ugh, the wind. Ugh, it hates me. It hates me! Start fishing. Yoink. Oh, what's this? A Raphalos. Oh, I love it. how bitey he is. Consistent with its large size and red coloration, this fish is often short tempered and aggressive. Interesting, it seems to prefer the color green. On. Investigate, I suppose, the island proper. That's the best place to look for a dead rock. Oh, there's a whale down there! Well, there's several. Ah! We missed! Uh, what's that? That's... That's the professor. Let's see if I can yoink that. You come back up? Got it. Okay. There's people there. I don't think they're gonna have... Dead rock. Ah, we missed him. Okay, we unmissed him. Uh, we have sort of come to a, a halt. I think we're beach, but I'm not quite certain. Uh, No, okay. We got it. We got it. Hmm. How the hell is this rock? Can't make up its mind, can it? That's okay. Yoink that. Um, Dead Rock. Seeing one. These are gonna be crew for hire. Looking for more sailors. I'll join for hundreds. Sure. 
He's finished the crew, toss me hundreds. Yar. I think I've got some for one more. Amazing. What happened to our boat? It just went backwards a lot for some reason. That's fine, I guess. Hmm. I feel like that sleepy guy might be the key to finding out what the bedrock is, or, or whatever it is we're supposed to be doing here regarding the bedrock. seem to be anything else on the island that looks like a sort of a glowy sparkly purple stone so presumably it must be you you're why we're here do you have an icon on the map you don't have an icon Dealt us four damage hooking onto this thing. It didn't even work. No, nope, nothing. Sacred oil. Burn those remaining. Somehow onwards. Okay. Shadows cast by light. Oh my god, you know what it is? That fallen place so far away. Nothing here, the light is lost. Uh, it, it probably I need to come back to him at night, actually. Uh, I do have a thing in my inventory. Not that. Time piece. By staring at this device, time itself can be made to pass. Wait until dusk. Is it, is it dusk? He will keep the keeper of nothing. Hmm. That doesn't really help. I thought I saw a lighthouse somewhere. Didn't I? I thought I saw a light. Maybe it was just the light from those guys. Big hum. Don't know where that is now, though. I'm gonna sail around the island, see if that gives him time to, like, wake up. Uh... And see if I can see that lighthouse that I thought was around. Because it's not on the island. It's in the distance somewhere. Hmm. Maybe I need to go to one of the other new locations. Maybe there'll be more spooky guys there. Hmm. No, wherever it was, I can't see it now.
No, okay, Ooh. you've still got nothing else to say to me. Alright. Well, we know we've got to go over here and deliver a bunch of stuff. We also know that this new island popped up for us, as did this new island. Let's drop off our deliveries. Uh, uh, where is my boat going? <laughs> where? What? Where is my boat going? Hello? <laughs> what a strange route to take to get there! <laughs> oh, there's lots of pirates. Jeez. This is the this is the strat. You just you just bump into them. Oh, ow, they're wrecking me. Oh, they're wrecking me now. It was nearly the strat. Okay. It's fine, we got them. Oh, we get some crew. Yay! We like crew. Uh let's quickly repair. This is more bad guys up ahead. Stuck. I'm not quite sure why we're moving so slow. Ow. Come on. Get some speed on. Ow. Get some speed on! Ugh! Ow, that boat is gonna hit me. Ow, thank you, friends. Amazing. Oh, we got an off-brand spread gun. Uh, right. Oh, hello. Who's this guy? Who do you think you are, mate? I was about to repair. Now suddenly there's loads of pirates. Quite a lot, you know. Oh, I think that guy just exploded. So oh yeah. All right. How are we doing on the? How are we doing? I need a repair. Poison. Yes. Sky bounty needs a repair as well. There we go. God, that was rough. All right. I think. That was it. There's something all exploded over here. These guys are uh, people for hire. It's fine. What the heck is going on over here? Are they bad guys? I can't really quite tell. Yes, they're bad guys. Straight into the wind. Let's wreck these crooks for commerce! 
Thread Pirate Wobbles? Hardy ha ha ha. Let's be our fine fishy fort now. Okay, I I I'm not super keen on that conceptually. Ow. Right, we killed that. Uh Wow, I'm not sure what else is out. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even see it. Ow. Ow. Okay, we killed that one as well, I think. Ow. Can we pick up some, some guys? Quickly? Amazing. Right, let's... Oh god, our, our, the rest of our fleet is already engaging. Hang on. I'm not ready! I'm not ready! I only just realised that. Nice! We blew it all up. Oh, hi guys! All hands on deck. Hi! Beauty! We're back in business, me bonzo beans. Ahoy me way with fishies! Did you miss me? Marvellous skirmish happened here, eh? Must have been quite a show. It was. Have a nip of something for fixing our troubles. Woohoo for Emporium number two! Grand reopening! You're fishy for the film, fancy paint, etc. Alright. Can I. Yeah, I, I would love to sell you some fish so that I can repair my boats. Take a fish. Uh. Alright. Talk to Angler Angler Harump. <laughs> We got new colours. Uh sail decal colour. We have a slightly less nice orange. <laughs> it's the main thing that we seem to unlock. We've got actually quite a few different varieties of blue now available to us. That I'm not gonna go for. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do a bunch of repairs. Oh, okay, we didn't actually need that many repairs at the end. Uh, oh, it's going to be difficult to get a move on because wind. I'll grab all these fish. A fishing fever. This is Gizno Toothrattle, who I guess was a pirate at one point. At one point, we've grabbed quite a lot of former pirates. In fact, we are now mostly former pirates piloting former pirate ships. <laughs> Bay Bass Vex. When provoked, its aggressive fighter will thrash violently to defend itself against predators. Otherwise, a pretty chill fish. Through the wind, and then around a bit, the other side. There we go, lovely. Yeah, just close enough to fish. To get the fish. No, it's a truck knot. Oh, and look, the wind has turned again. <laughs> Amazing how it does that. It's alright, we'll turn the other way. Alright. 
grab these all these fishing spots because there's loads of fishing spots here. So like, why wouldn't we grab them? It's another hallow fish. Hello. Sorry, hallow fin. My apologies. Person over here. Oh, oh, and my alarm is going off, telling me that it's time for me to ask you guys some questions about dinosaurs. Oh, what did we grab? Oh, the catch was lost. Oh, I thought I thought I grabbed it there, but apparently not. Uh, we'll do that just after we've uh, talked towards Scampy Nomblin. Oh, good day, gentle sailor of the seas. You surprised me. I was lost in my usual daydream of peace and prosperity for all. Can I help you? Special delivery. Sign here. Ooh, what a delightful sound. Oh, no. Oh, no. Buzzing is easily in my top ten favorite sounds of all time. Oh, no. <clears throat> Here's a little something for your trouble. Someone really sealed this up. I'll just open the side wheels. Oh, oh, Scampy Noblin. You again. Someone accidentally put stingy bees in that parcel. Would you kindly inform the sender of this error? Um, how would bees even accidentally end up in a box? I shan't believe anyone would send a box of bees on purpose. Inconceivable. Hello. It was Marley Blunderbuss. I shan't believe. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, the bees are still there. Oh no. Alright, turn around. Sell these fish what we just caught. Oh, maybe catch one more fish. It's just dreaming of peace and prosperity that sounds like someone who's trying too hard. I think it doesn't necessarily come naturally to everyone, and that's okay, right? Right, wait for a bite. Click. Oh, this is a yellow fish. Amazing. Hi, I've come to sell some fish. Take a fish. There we go. Uh, the Bay Bass Vex is actually new. I assume it'll give us a, an interesting green colour. Yes, I think it's given us this new green. There we go. Ah, and we have an Artemis. Welcome. You are just in time for some more, some more Dino-related voting. Uh, let me uh, get things all set up and get some polls ready and on the go, shall I? Uh, because today we have a, a smaller poll. I think it's only three choices today. Uh, let me just see. Do, 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 do. Consult the Grandmaster list. Yes, we have a we have a three choice poll. I could have moved Therizinosaurus over here. Oh my gosh, and thank you so much Artemis for subscribing as well. It's so wonderful to have you along for the ride. And we've actually met a sub goal, which is phenomenal. Uh, I have 10 subs now. That's amazing. It's That's so generous of all of you. Wowzers. Um, yeah, I've, I've never I've never got this sort of high up in sub count before. It's like elementary gold. It doesn't have a, a thingy tied to it. If for future goals you would like me to tie like a thing to do for them, then I will need ideas for, for things to do to tie to them. But uh, I am super duper all ears because I'm so excited to have uh, all the humans on board. Transfer says, I would indeed like you to tie a thing. <laughs> you got to see things, ideas for things to do or to tie up. Who says the Discord? That is right, actually. I've been thinking for a while about getting a Discord game. Because there are actually quite a few of you now. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Artemis. That's absolutely a goal for a sub. Oh dear. Um... Would, would would people fancy seeing uh, 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 a, a Discord where people can hang out, where I can post like by going live notifications and stuff, that sort of thing? 
I don't know what necessarily what it would entail so far, other than that. Um, <laughs> mostly you're just wanting to see things get tied up. I will have a look at the Twitch Terms of Service, and if I'm allowed to do that on an IRL stream, maybe. <laughs> um, oh dear. <laughs> Give us a sec. Um, I'm still getting the poll ready, but I've got a little bit distracted, as is obviously the case. Ah, uh, yes, we have three dinos for you to vote for today, and this is the this is the fluffy category. Uh, and so the three dinos we have are all like feathery dinos. Uh, one of which is not, I think, a Mesozoic dino. I will have to double check. Yeah, no, it's not a. a, a, a Mesozoic dino. It's it's a bird in air quotes dinosaur. I know, right? Terrifying. Uh, but an extinct bird. Uh, let me get this poll ready, and then I can show you all the things. Twitch, why are you not? Why are you not being nice? <laughs> I'm trying to poll the good people of the chat. New poll. All right. Fluffy Dinos. There we go. Paul Heat G. There we go. Alright, our choices today are. Ah, oh, I can never. Balour. Balour? B A L O U R. Balour? Question mark? Or Dinochirus? Or Gastornis? I'll go over sort of each of those things. Uh, and once the poll is up. There we go. Poll is up. Let's add a little display capture so you can see. So yeah, three choices. Um, this is Balor. It's it's a little fluffy boy. It's a it's quite a small boy, I think. I wonder if there'll be a size comparison. Yeah, it's it's a it's a small boy. It's not even sort of two meters long. Uh, kind of like Velociraptor-ish size. Um, uh, it's from Romania. From Romania? It's from Romania. Um. And it means, I saw it for a sec, there we go, Stocky Dragon, which I think is a really cute name. Uh, but there's there's lots of sort of art of kind of little happy fluffy boy um, flopping around. This one's given him some fantastic hair for some reason. Uh, I, lo I, I love conceptually the sort of the small feathery raptors. Next on the list. We have Dinochirus, who is the opposite. He's a really, really big boy. Uh, this guy's arms are like as big as me. Uh, and actually saw the, the Natural History Museum in London uh, has some Dinochirus arms in it. And uh, I saw them not that long ago in person. If I thought, oh look, there we go. There's the arms and there's a person. <laughs> Just to give you a sense of the scale of this guy. Um, and Dinocaris is a, another Ornithomimosaur, so like a Gallimimus or what have you from before. Uh, but he's just like way, way bigger than all the other ones. Um, and I think for a while we sort of didn't really have any context for like, why is there just this random huge Ornithomimosaur? Uh, Artemis says, I love that it's... It, it means horrible hand, does it? Oh yeah, horrible hand, there. That's great as a name. That's fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a big, like, I think probably herbivorous dinosaur. Oh, apparently it's omnivorous dinosaur. There we go. Uh, fish scales found in association with one specimen. There we go. So plants and uh, maybe fish. Basically, it was kind of like a big bear. Not quite in the same way as, like, Baryonyx was, where it's, like, got the hook hands for scooping out fish or what have you, but basically kind of a big bear. Uh, and often reconstructed as being very fluffy as well. This one's given him like full on duck face. Quite, no, there's varying amounts of duck face in them, but yeah. Uh, so that's Dinocaris, often sort of pictured. Do we actually, what's its paleo environment? Do we have a paleo environment section um, in this? Do do do. Help animal for sinking the substrate while wading. Yeah, basically sort of believed to be kind of like a, a semi-aquatic boy. Uh, Artemis says, Disney Natural History Museum trip at some point. 
I would low-key love that. That would be great. I love the Natural History Museum. If if I could live there, I absolutely would. Um, it's a great place to be. Uh, Kingo says, can't beat good duck face. Except misspelt it, can't beat a good duck face. I'm assuming that wasn't intentional, based on the multiple attempts to correct it, but can't beat a good duck face is quite a good sentence as well. <laughs> uh, and yeah, our final option is uh, Gastornis, who is not a, a sort of a traditional like non-avian dinosaur, but I mean, it's a huge predatory bird. Uh... Phenomenally, phenomenally big, as you can see, like, you know, sort of taller than you. Um, there we go. Here's one eating a baby horse, uh, a, a nice picture of. These things would have been absolutely terrifying, and they ruled the roost, kind of. Um, not that long, I think Gastonis was not that long after mid Paleocene. Yeah, okay, so that not that long after the dinosaurs proper died out, these were once again the apex predators. And everyone sort of thinks, oh, oh, you know, 66 million years ago, meteor happens, uh, no more dinosaurs, mammals rule from now on. But actually, big, big apex predator birds still roaming around. And, like, apex predator flightless birds as well, still roaming around, being awesome and terrifying. Uh... What does Gastornis mean? I wonder. Hang on. Mean. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. He, named, uh, he named Diatrema Gigantia, meaning through a hole. <laughs> um. Okay, I have no idea what Gastornis actually means, but yeah. Big, big, terrifying birds, or fluffy dinosaur bear creature thing that's huge. Or s small, adorable, nearly birds dinosaur. Those are your three choices for now. Uh, how are we doing on the poll? We've, we've got a 33, 33, 33 spot on the poll. Good damn it, guys. <laughs> I love you. I love you to pieces. <laughs> Uh, Arthur says it's interesting. It looks like a terror bird, but apparently it's unrelated. Yeah, terror birds. I wonder if terror bird is is an article. Terror. There we go. These guys are the the proper terror birds. Um, but that there, there were there were several different types of massive predatory birds, just wandering around the landscape, terrifying everything mammalian that moved. Uh, it's kind of great that that's a thing that happened several times. Artemis says, you love it's basically a duck. Is that where Gastornis sits? Oh yeah, look, here's, here's Gastornis, and here's Waterfowl. That's cute. I didn't actually know that before. Well pointed out. So yeah, Terra Duck, I guess, or Dinosaur Bear, or, or Fluffy Boy. Let me get back to, uh, Arthur says it was named after Gaston Plante, described as a studious young man full of zeal who discovered the first fossils in clay. Huh. There we go. The more you learn. Alright, boats. We're here for boating. Time to head out. Uh, I can't actually remember what exactly we're doing here. Oh, we had to make two deliveries, and we've made one delivery. So I guess let's go make the other delivery. Kingo says, Terra Duck, my favorite competitive Pokemon trait. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. right, let's get fishing. Hopefully we haven't smacked into that rock. This is first called Kiss Mahugger. Ooh, more stuff. Okay. Successfully avoid a crash. Which is tray important. Let's go visit this uh, set of pillars. <clears throat> Do I actually have a, a local area map? Hang on. 
Oh, there's a picture to be taken and a delivery over there. Excellent. Alright. I'll pop a marker on the photo sheet. We'll visit that after we've done this. And I need to remember that we do actually want to shoot these boxes. Because they will slightly hurt us if we just bump into them. And that would be simple. Ugh. There we go, we got it in the pants. Oh, it didn't even have that much wood in it. <laughs> I suppose if we'd hit it, it would have been worse. Yeah, I'm wondering if I I'm wondering if I need to bring the other guy some luminate. The uh Might do the island all the way. I wonder if I need to bring that the sleepy light guy some luminate. Oh, we found a map fragment. Oh, yoink all the things. I was aiming at the wrong one there. I was aiming at that very, very far away crate. I don't think we can hit that from here. We can't, that's fine. Oh no. Look. I'm gonna do a little bit of, little bit of backpedaling. It's fine. I didn't want to turn that way, I wanted to turn this way. Oh look, there's a, a blooming clam there that I could have shot. Never mind. The clams aren't the, the clams are just money. They're not that interesting. Uh um, more power. <clears throat> because the wind, as usual, hates us. Oh, there's one up ahead though. Maybe. No, it was gone under the on the belt. The pearls are kind of a if you can rather than a absolutely must. Oh goals. We're a bit we're a bit shallow here, I've reached. God damn it. <laughs> Can we go backwards at all? Ugh. Come on, there we go. back out again. This is all fine. Let's see if we can maybe... Ugh, I think it's just out of range. It's just out of range. Okay, that's fine. Ah uh, yeah, back out of here. Because I don't think I always turn the wrong way when I'm doing this. It's really quite a skill. Oh boy. Ah. Uh... Oh, nope, nope, we beached again. 
Oh, I can't drive a boat to save my life, apparently. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, where are we? Oh. That's the meat of the map we found, I guess. Maybe able to steal a bolt from the Skull Clan shipyard. Interesting. Just bloody beach together, why? Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Is that a fishing spot next to us? No, I don't think it is. Alright, I think this is our delivery. Feel that this is Mango Zit Definer, which is a hell of a profession to have. <laughs> uh, oops, it's like deja vu or something. Oh, we've got something for you. Well, 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 would you look at that? Tasty, tasty. Oh, how tasty life will be now that rich meat juice is in the mix. Takes a small payment, make life a bit tastier for yourself. It's gonna blow everyone's taste buds away. Amazing, okay. Deliveries are delivered. <laughs> I like how all of my guns at the front have completely different pages. <laughs> Bits. Then hard left to see what this island is. Not that hard left. Whoa! Uh -huh. Maybe stopping for some fishies. Seeing as some fishies have just shown up. Now, what is this little island? Hmm. Hello, this is Leb Tooth Rattle. Shh, get down. Oh, are you a bird watcher? <laughs> Smell that on the wind? There's a giant jelly nearby. I'm gonna be the one to get a photo of it. Although, I can't help but notice you've got a camera with you. Tell you what, if you can get a photo of the thing, I'll make it worth your while. I'll mark your map where it was last spotted, come back if you find it. Okay. Where? Where? <laughs> oh, the, oh, here, okay. Right, sorry. Being slow. Ah, oh, it's bloody downwind again. Uh, upwind even. Oh, don't bump into our other boat. There we go. Are you a new fishing spot, or have we already fished here? Oh, you're a new fishing spot with with hollow fins. Feisty. They're real feisty. There we go. See if we can get eyes on this giant jelly. How 
I know when I'm in the area? Because I sort of won't. Oh, hello! Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I can't remember what the key is! Camera! Can I go underwater? No, I can't. Okay. There we go. One giant jelly. Caught on film. Oh, there's there's other cute little jellyfish as well nearby. Uh, guys! Guys! Please! <laughs> I'm doing my best not to hit you all. Oh, this shit looks really pretty when it's like... The sails are fully flung and everything. It's weirdly lopsided. The asymmetry is, is slightly less pleasing. Hello! Well, how about that? You found the thing, and what the shot it is. Great job! Like, seriously mad props! Alright, more wood. Oh well, we've actually got loads of wood. We can even buy one of them other boats if we wanted to. Alright. You haven't been crossed off. Do you need more stuff? You're preparing for the next hunt. Come back tomorrow. Oh, okay, so you're, you're like a repeating thing, I see. Uh, alright, so we did our deliveries. Um, let's go... We'll have a look at Kingland. Sorry, Kringland. See if we can find any more of this uh, first thing here. Oh, I, the poll ended, didn't it? And I didn't even pay attention. It, the poll did end in a 33-32-33 in split. Um, that's fine. I can I can make another poll happen. <laughs> My land, oh never mind. Nearly your land, King Girl. We could we could we could make you We could make you the king of Oh. Oh, the frigid sea. Oh it's blue here. Uh hang on. Give me a sec. I'm gonna make a new poll. Uh, I'm going to do the thing that I hate doing. Uh, but it's a good way to resolve disputes. Dino, Kairos, uh, and Astornus. I'm going to allow the evil votes. The evil capitalism votes. There we go. Alright. Uh, Kinga says, My first law upon establishing the status ship of Kringland is to change its name. Ah, that makes sense. Alright. I guess start there? Oh. Okay, screen just faded out. Everything is very blue. Oh, I love it. Also, Arthur is redeemed the hydrate. Thank you so much. Oh, it tastes salty like seawater. Hmm. I don't think that's good for me. Oh, it's another... It's another... Oh, are these bad guy pirates again? Wind below a floor. What's a wind below? Kingo says my second law is to put all industry within Kringland on the public ownership. <laughs> That's a good second law. I don't think these are pirates. Hang on a sec. I want to go say hi. Hey! Who are you guys? Hello? I'd love to join your feet, doesn't look like there's any room. Okay, they're, they're people I can hire. 
Let me know if you spot a spot ever becomes available. Oh god, you can't control your ship while you're in dialogue. Uh, that nearly went real bad. Ah! Salutations! I've got to deliver this cargo. I can spare a minute. Uh, we'll buy some stuff from you. This was quite profitable last time, I seem to recall. So we'll take the lot. Fair seas to you. Especially seeing as the place that I can sell it to is literally right here. Oh, I bumped into them. Uh, I did a, I did a bump. Oh, oh god, everyone's hitting everyone. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there's, a, there's a five boat, maybe six boat pile up on the high seas. <laughs> oh god. That was all my fault. Uh, King says, my third load is irrelevant, the CIA will have removed me by then. Oh god. Oh god. Too real. Alright. Anna, Orion. Hello. Oh, you're purple. Welcome to the Frigid Sea Ship Shape Shop. My synapses are frozen, and causing my prices to drop erratically. I have precisely what you're looking for. Let's make a deal. Sell some cargo items. Yeah, we bought these for 168 each, so we make a decent profit on them. Actually, I don't think we made that much of a profit, but hey. Boink. Alright, I think that's everything. My rates are mad, I should be institutionalised. Let's talk about upgrades. Uh, you don't have any interesting upgrades for me, that's fine. I cannot outprofit my family if you do not purchase anything. Um, let's build a new boat. Oh, it was the Osprey which we have. That was the new boat that we can build. No, no harm in looking. There we go. My siblings are. S wow, okay. My business performance will impoverish them. You can tell them if you want. Oh, fish. Alright, let's have a. Once we've caught this fish, let's have a quick look and see how the pole's doing. Yoink! Ooh! New! A, a gelly fin! Their smooth skin is covered in a very thick layer of mucus that protects them from close friendship! <laughs> Extremely common in wintry areas. That's cool! Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh yes, tell me how the pole's doing. Okay, the poll has exactly one vote so far. That's fine. Uh, right. I guess we'll go check out the islands. I'm gonna go the, the long way around this guy's thing. Oh, hello. Who's this out here? Hello? Where's my escort? I don't know where my fleet's gone. Oh no, that's the boat we've seen before. You're not broken, are you? Okay, you're just far. That's fine. That's a big boy. No, okay. Wailing with, with, with cannons doesn't work. <laughs> so you'll know. Oh, more fish? Okay, fine. It says, of course, they can't whale with cannons, they'll drown you out. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. That's another Midas fish. 
There's another minus fish. Well, I suppose on the plus side, if there's like mercenary ship to that probably means there's no skull plan here. But I'm definitely not seeing anything that looks like a special purple gem either. Range. Fire! And a map fragment. Oh, look, there's another one on the other side there. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit that. Whoa! Ow! <clears throat> I don't think my my can can go that high either. Gonna back up a little bit. Back it up, back it up. There we go. Hit that. And see if we can't hard left. Nope, apparently we can't hard left. Ow. Good job. Turn back it towards the rock, you numpties! <laughs> we are just gonna keep ramming this rock because my my crew insist. Insist upon it. There we go. Pointing past the rock. There we are. Nope, okay, we still hit the rock. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a complete disaster. <laughs> I'm so bad at boating. It's fine, we made it out. We only took like three damage. Just gonna go at a lower sail. So that I don't have to keep stopping. <laughs> Another map. <laughs> well, the coastline here is a bit tricky. Alright, we ended up with three votes for Gastornus and one for Balor, so we are luckily going to be able to secure and lock in Gastornus there as our winner for this heat. Uh, if you come back tomorrow when I'm doing some BG3 with Shaka, it's our last Friday Baldur's Gate, terrifyingly, uh, because we're moving to Mondays. But if you come back tomorrow for the last one, you'll also be able to vote be able to vote on the last dinosaur heat, which is uh, the famous dinos heat. So names you might recognize like Velociraptor and oh, that's too far out of range. And other such things. Artemis never did you scared me. I I know, I know. I I was I I, I was literally Getting on with telling you not to panic. Um, so Steve is in the famous dinosaur bracket. Uh, um, uh, I, have we done the whole island? I think there's one bit of island left. I need to get out of this slow wind bit. Full 
full reverse, full reverse. Okay. Uh, oh, we have a Shaka, welcome. No panic, uni is just harsh with timetable this semester for you. Yeah, it is. It's it's an everyday, everyday there's a uni thing kind of schedule, which, I mean, it's probably good for, like, learning, but it's obviously less good for mucking about with your pals in Baldur's Gate. It says... I expect to see Roberta. I loved her in Jurassic Park. You, 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 <laughs> all of you. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. There's this big old rock which we sort of came in by. I was wondering if it might have another crystal on top of it. Well, I guess not. we go in here. Oh, it's a new place. There's a race over there. There's a, a king skull over there. A target shooting range over there. Yep, but we are here. I don't want to fast travel to here. <laughs> we are here. Uh, that's the ship shape shop. We don't need that. Okay, I guess we've apparently found our researcher buddy. No! Whoa! Ow! Ow! <laughs> it's fine. No one got hurt. It's all fine. Oh yeah, we'll check out all the other interesting pillars around here in case they have the special thing on. Oh, let's not crash into the shop. That would be bad. What have we got? Just some kind of... Just some kind of pillars. I hope I can sail under this. It's okay, we could sail under it. Uh... Yeah, I guess. We'll have a look. It's another big old pillar that also doesn't have anything on top of it. There's the professor. Hmm. Vex it. There's some crates for us to shoot. <laughs> That's penguins! Hi there, penguins! I guess I can't talk to you or anything. Why would I be able to? You're penguins. You don't offer any interaction choices? No, you do drown. Um, which seems inadvisable, if, if you don't mind me saying. No, I guess you just sort of hop off. Okay, fair enough. About turn, gang. We're gonna go see. Oh, oh this is the one. Angler Kablap is chilling out here doing some ice fishing. Interesting. I might have to go have a look at back in a sec. Yeah, we'll go say hi to the professor and then we'll go say hi to the stuff behind the professor. Dark. How's the search? Is the trail gone cold? 
Sorry I couldn't resist. I've been doing some research on my own. I think I've pinpointed traces of dead rock. Let me show you. Ah, okay. Shiver tons. There we go. Any luck finding luminates? Uh, no, not currently. We have been looking for luminate, to be honest. Ah, okay. Thanks, Doc. You've been a big help this time. You weren't a big help last time, but you've been a big help this time. If we can avoid crashing and dying. Right. Um. Oh, there's an Angler Angler Emporium here. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to have to go free it. Uh, but let's check out who this Angler Kerblap is. Because that sounds interesting. Sailing into the, the icy reaches of the the southeast. <laughs> you know, famously, the further east you go, the colder it is. Okay, there's more skull clam here for sure. So that's a skull clam. Pillar boy, alright thing. Southeast? Oh no, we've reached Essex. <laughs> just be, just be careful what you say about the southeast. Bearing in mind, bear in mind where 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 streamer comes from. <laughs> um, Essex, you're fine. Say what you like about Essex. You can say you're from Essex. Oh, okay, that's fair. You're a million miles away from me then. Alright, we're gonna go rock up on this guy and absolutely ruin his day. That's apparently another one. Ugh, I missed. You. Get that, that whole area clear. Um, Elsa says, oh, you're now in. Oh, okay. You're now in Berkshire. I actually probably couldn't point to Berkshire on a map. But we'll ignore that inconvenient fact for now. Uh. Alright. And I'll try and remember. Where it is I'm sort of going. Oh. Skull Clan's built a shrine there, that's fine. I'm not that fussed by that just yet. Okay. Well, we'll go around the island, I guess. This looks like it's going to be a really annoying island to explore. But we'll do it anyway for science. Nope, I missed. missed. Oh no, I got it that time. I think that just pulled me in. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm so bad at driving this boat close to any land. Just, just, I get near and it's just disaster after disaster. Get some, 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 some movement. Hello. Some speed. I don't want lots of speed, but I would like a little speed. Oh, 
wind just just absolutely completely changed there. Uh, right. What have we got? We got some guys. Oh, we got a fishing spot. I didn't notice. Oh, these look like anglerfish. Oh, oh! I so desperately want one of these. Hello, a Zothon fish. I love it to pieces. I want one. A bizarre fish often struggles to maintain its corporeal form. Body of the species was nearly made extinct by an ancient meteor strike. Angel says, "Is the angler fish in charge of Sea Germany?" I don't think Ang Angela Merkel has been in charge of Germany for a while now, has she? Um, either way, I'm guessing that Sea Germany is probably sunk like the rest of the world. Those are some guys to hire. That's all well and good. Winds up. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> the wind's up and we beached straight away. Phenomenal. He says, I think you're right about that one. She'll always be the Chancellor to me. <laughs> Don't tell any Germans we know. <laughs> Imagine if someone just came along and was like, yeah, I, I just think that, like, David Cameron will always be the real British Prime Minister, you know? Like, that would be such a strange thing to say. Rogue wave off port. I think this is port. Hello. Are you a rogue wave? You kind of look like most of the other waves. It was a fairly big wave, to be fair. Ah, just too slow for that. Right, I'm gonna drive into this. I know that I won't be able to get out without using yours, but I don't think I can... I don't think I can point at that crate without. Uh, King of Sirs, to be fair. Uh oh, big wave ahead. That's not good news. King of Sirs, there's an argument that no Prime Minister we've had since was legitimately elected. Ah! Uh... I mean, define legitimate. Like, Boris did win an election. As much as I, as much as I don't like the fact that he did win an election, he did win an election. You could argue that, you know, he won an election with a lot of election interference. Ugh, oh, oh. Look at the stupid place this, this box is. supposed to get that? You put a rock on top of it. Oh. Also, it's too close. Steady the tiller big wave ahead? Are you sure? I think the waves has kind of settled down now. Um, hmm, yeah. I don't know if we can get that one. No, can we, can we pedal backwards? Go backwards, you fools! Did we get it? Really? That didn't 
get it? Okay, I don't think we can get that. I think there's a I think there's a hitbox in the way that will prevent us from getting that one. King has said it'd be very contrarian specific. None of the previous Prime Ministers won an election and then became Prime Minister. They only became Prime Minister first. That's true, I suppose. Um oh, apparently there's a fishing spot here. I love the names. Sprug Buff Tinder. <laughs> Here for all of your Tinder buffing needs. A lot of these crates have map fragments in them. We're discovering quite a lot of, of the world. that we could get closer to the shore without me constantly beating it. Um, have we gone... Okay, we've gone pretty much the whole way around now. I think it's time for us to turn... Back. Get on with... Finding this guy who's doing some fishing. Mind. Everyone mind. <laughs> oh, hello, we have a Spurious Plays. First time chatter. This game is terrible, but I still got it just because it is free. I must admit, I, I, I would beg to differ so far. I'm having a great time and enjoying myself. I don't think it's a terrible game at all. I think it's real cute. But uh, welcome nonetheless. Thanks for stopping by. You have no idea how to play? Well, give it a watch. Maybe you will, uh, maybe you will find someone out. You never know. I'm not going to pretend to be, like, pro at the game or anything. But, uh, I can mostly sort of manage my way. About... Got that. You know, go with the wind, trim your sails to the, the the correct way, which does admittedly change every sort of two minutes. Uh, I got the mute because I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Suddenly sneezing came upon me. I'll be right with you. Ah, oh, but yeah, um, for, for anyone who, who, who hasn't grabbed it yet, if you are liking the look of this, it is currently free on the Epic Games Store, but only for another, like, hour and a half? I think, at least in my region. So, uh, if you're liking the looks of it, make sure to grab it sooner rather than later. Uh, but I'm hoping to do more of the Epic Free games as they kind of come along. I would like to do one a week. That's probably not going to exactly happen. Well, I, I, I think it'll bring more, like, diversity to the channel, which I like. Because it'll, it'll encourage me to play games that I otherwise wouldn't touch with a barge pole. Ah, see, Artie did though. Wonderful. Ah, uh, yeah. It'll it'll encourage me to get new games that I wouldn't normally touch, and uh, maybe also be of sort of more utility for you guys highlighting games that you might have otherwise missed. Hi, Kabla. Hello. Ho ho ho, or who who who? Possibly. Ahoy, chitlins. You'd be a long ways out here, ain't you? What brung you to these frosty waters? Uh... Tracking down Deadlock. Gills and Guppies, that sounds really important. I'm afraid old Kablap ain't privy to such things. However, there's a thing or two I can tell you about. 
Fish eats. You might have guessed. I've been angler angling all over this here deep blue. Ask anyone. Oh, I'm afraid I do not have a specs command, Spurious Blaze. I don't rightly even quite know exactly what my specs are. <laughs> um, I can tell you that my PC is a, an Alienware Aurora from about f five years ago, but uh, I am super not technically minded. So that kind of stuff goes very over my head, I'm afraid. Uh, Shashkis, ain't nobody asking you off, dude. It's rude. Don't be rude to your penguin, pal. Sorry for the malarkey, we're not getting many visitors these days. In any case, maybe, may just be known the absolute most is about the fish. That be why I'm angler anglist. Calls me Kablap, please intermeet ya. Fancy for a snappy game of cards. The gods of fever and blowfish be the only cure. Or maybe you toss a fishy to angler angler for another cool fish tip. What says ye? So what's this blowfish game you speak of? You gotta try and collect a full set of four matching fishy cards. When all's done, whomever grabbed the most matching sets wins. Playing be all like this. First, get some cards. Then, upon your turn, ask somebody if they're holding a fishy card you're looking for. If they does, they gotta give them to you. Okay, it's go fish. If not, they shout blowfish in your face. Okay, go fish, blowfish, sure. Gap. And then you'll draw a fishy card out of the fishy pool instead. Got it? There's to other players asking for things too. Then you'll know which fishy cards they got. Sure. Shuffle them up. Who's the biggest blowfish? Hoo hoo hoo. Let's do this. What, you betting? Uh, I'll bet 50 for now, because I'm not convinced in my ability to be good at go fish. Ahoy, blowfish off the port bow. <laughs> my choice is going to be so wise. Uh... I guess I'll ask Othu. Got me ones. He does have a one. Amazing. <laughs> You're going down. Uh, ask a blap. You got me ones. Fair square. I can it. Oh, okay. Uh. I guess I'll ask Kablap again. You got any tears? Blowfish, okay. Sure. Everything's coming up. Kablap! Ich hit Gobba. Give up Kablap then lavender blowfish. Okay. Right. I don't know how long we're gonna play Go Fish for. It's taking quite a while at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know what he's asking! <laughs> My turn. Uh, Othu, you got any twos? You do have a two. Thanks. Here comes the boom. Uh, ask Kablap, you got any sixes? Ah, we got a set! Amazing! Okay. Phenomenal. Sneaky emerald blowfish about. Go fish. Alright. Off the gak. I suppose that's how it goes. Okay. So you've got a, a golden yellow one. Sure. Um. Ask Othu, do you have any sixes? You do have any sixes. <laughs> okay. Uh, ask a black. You got any ones? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we now have a golden yellow four, which we know that Othu has. Nope. We still don't have any of them. I assume we're unlikely to be able to to lose. Oh, okay. No, he 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 knew. Okay, that's fine. Gak, blowfish, gak. Alright. 
Uh, Kablap, you got any sixes? Yes, you do. Oh, that's nice. Feeling lucky. Othu, got any sixes? Ah, oh, another set. Amazing. <laughs> om nom nom. <laughs> okay. You got any ones? Oh, you do have a one. Amazing. They, he could have, like, completely cleaned us out. <laughs> we win! We're the best at Go Fish. Go Fish. Surely that were a well played hand. Here be your winnings. Good and fair square. Alright, we're fishing for fish tips. Then. He knows the skinny, yes? Give me a fishy, I'll learn you about one he ain't seen yet. Let's do this. Uh, have a yuck fish. Fish and tips. Let's see what you bring me, can it? Oh, fish. Now that'd be a real good one. Let's see what we're missing from your collection. Hmm. Aha! Not quite any crop, Dad. I recollect they'd be mingling about round sandy aisles at the day when it be raining. Okay. So long and thanks for the fish. I see, so so he's a, a fishing tips person. Sandy Isles. Is Sandy Isles just like this general location? Rather than one specific one. Okay, we gotta go to one of those places when it's raining. That's chill. Uh is there anything else near here we need to check out? Yes, there's two question marks. Well, let's get on our merry way then. <laughs> I was not expecting there to just randomly be a Go Fish mini game. I'm not upset that there was just randomly a Go Fish mini game. But I wasn't expecting one. Oh my guy, please do not hit me. Do not do whatever you're. Ahem. <laughs> we'll grab some more fish <laughs> on the way. You know, I think I'm gonna nab that, uh... I think I'm gonna nab that special gun off of, um... Kiss from a rose. Because it just doesn't quite have the speed to actually, uh, keep up. Give it a, a perfect repeating chaser, there we go. Oh wow, this does so this does so little damage compared to like the proper guns. Alright. Oh, I don't think I can fit that. Okay, never mind. Never mind, you can have your thing back. Guess where I was outfit. Pop. Pop that back on you. There you go. Oh god, I'm actually starving. It's nearly three o'clock as well. I should probably go and have lunch. Okay, you're just a, a boy who needs rescue. That's fine. You can grab you pretty easy like. Wait, you're called Angler Wrangler Slap. Hello. Oh no, wait, you're called Angler Angler Slap. Hello. By Thunder and Lightning. Visitors. Most folk pass on by. You look like a sturdy one. Tidy frame and sails, to be sure. Taken on shipments, are you? My back's in the is the ting, you see. Can't be hauling bit around me. But you, you can task it, eh? Sure. Written word, word, tis a grand tingle. These fishing voyages be long and lonely, can it? If you'd be so kind, convey my copy of Oizo's Quest to my chum. Keep their mind sharp and saucy in the wee hours. Reading on adventures and vexations tis a good one. 
They're out on the water near Shiffish. Thank you kindly. Shiffish, we know Shiffish already, actually, don't we? I know you had it within you. Gravy on gravy, let's get on with it. Alright. Is that everything here? That's everything here. I think we visited the shipwreck. I hope we visited the shipwreck. I feel like we didn't finish the visit that shipwreck. Guess where the shipwreck is, of course. It's on the other side of the island and downwind. Where else would it be? Are you any interesting fish here? I actually can't tell. No, you're a fish we've caught before, but we're here now. Come on, come about, there we go. Get some wind in those sails. Speed, okay, we definitely did visit the shipwreck. Although it looks like there's other stuff in the ocean near it. So maybe I didn't do a full investigation of what's here? Maybe? Oh no, that's just another bit of ship, isn't it? Behind it. Yeah, that's just another bit of ship. Alright, okay, fast travel time. To Shivertund. Let's see if we can finish the day off with another dead rock, like we finished the first day. Alright, do we know where the dead rock is here? Answer no. Colder than the penguin's underside through here. The timbers be a shiver. Put the kettle on. I'm not sure if we have a kettle, actually. I'll be honest with you. That, that big old wave there, saving us from wrecking, I think. Right. Oh, that's something interesting going on over there. That is probably the dead rock, what we were looking for. Look, hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. Uh oh, not, no, 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 ow! Too late. <laughs> not, not that hard to turn. Um, yeah, okay. I guess we'll, we'll examine all the things. It's just a pearl burying itself. Oh, okay, we got it still. This is a big old iceberg here. Oh, we've got plenty of, uh, plenty of cash. Oh, 
try not to head downwind to where we can help a bit. Oh, the wind's... wind's getting a little wild! Oh, I needed a hard break because I think it was about to hit, hit, that, hit that iceberg. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 fish. Give me fish. I don't know what kind of fish they even are here. But give me fish. Oh, it's not an angler boy. Okay, we like angler boys. Uh. Captain Rogue Wave off the bow. Oh, I see it. I don't think it's gonna hit us. Luckily. Oh, maybe it will though. Whoops. Whoa! Hey! Okay, let's go have a look over here. So what the heck is going on? Uh... That... Whoa! Hello! What devilry do be this? Oh, it's a boy! Hello! Um... Ocean Ice Gargan! Cold Crossed Glimmer Fist! Okay! <laughs> Boss battle time! An ice monster is upon us! <laughs> okay, Red Alert! Go away! It's my shiny shiny! It speaks! Hi, sir! Can we, uh. Oh boy. Oh my god, look how much health this guy has. This will take forever, he says. Oh, okay. He could summon ice pillars. Good to know. Oh, oh, it wants us to drop the ice spire on him, doesn't it? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, Nelson. That's the way Shiva eats timbers. Oh, oh. Ow! Ow! I can't see. His hand's in the way. Hang on, hang on. Oh, hell. Oh, 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 okay. Ow. We've hit, we've hit the island. Ugh! Direct hit! Now get clear! Um. I did not really do a good job of getting clear there, did I? Let's be honest. Let's do a little... little repair. Okay, nobody else needs repair. Ow! Oh, we were supposed to drop it on him, and instead we dropped it on ourselves. So that wasn't great. As, as, as plans go. Hang on. Right. It's okay, I know what we're doing this time. Uh oh. Uh. Shoot! Ow, or don't shoot them. Fine. <laughs> uh. -oh. Oh god, I'm moving so slowly! Okay, luckily that didn't really do very much to us. Uh, why do you have to be here? Hang on. Right, I gotta wait till we're between it and him. We hit him! 
Fuck. That'll only a thing or three. The thicker they are, the harder they fall. Uh, he's not fall though, has he? Sales properly as well. Uh, you in my personal space. I mean, he's not wrong. We're definitely not in the right here. I think that's gonna hit him. We hit him! We killed him! I think. Hooray for death! Mino feels so good. Oh god. Victory's in our grasp! We make Glimmerfist feel so angry! Uh oh. Oh! Target the core? I'm not that good of a shot! Also you pulled down my sails. Why would you why would you do that to me? Ugh. Oh, it's got a rock! Oh, we're not gonna be able to see the core. Drive straight at him! Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm a little bit stuck. <laughs> Damn nice aim. <laughs> Ow. Something got hit. I don't think it was us. No, it was us. No, it was the ship behind us. That's fine. Okay. This is kind of where we want to be sitting. A head skipper. Hold steady for a rogue grave. Now? You're rogue waving us now? Uh oh. Shoot the gun, shoot the gun, thank you. Ugh. I think we're hitting him. Harpoons at the ready. Uh oh. Oh. I yoinked his rock. And he's so alone without Shiny. Oh no. So I feel bad for the big glue. Yeah, you should do. Even with all that trying to smash us. I mean, we just stole his rock. <laughs> oh. Hello. Uh, you have glasses now. My, my, my. Such distasteful conflict and violence. We are going to get wrecked by that wave. <laughs> Believe it or not, I no longer wish to aggravate the situation betwixt us. Consider this my most congenial concession speech, if you like. My gore! How in the big beetle deep blue did it all come to this? Curious, isn't it? Such a minuscule mineral such as this would be capable of unsavory machinations. But I digress. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Deep blue prodigy! Press of frost where the cold crossed. <laughs> I'd like to apologize, of course. I realize now that my previous visit startled you and caused so much grief. My mind was in the foul clutches of that unsavory stone. Oh, okay, so we're not the bad guys. We didn't know we weren't the bad guys at the time, but we're actually not the bad guys. Even now, the deafening call of its peculiar power echoes through my head. But I shall resist it. It now feels probably more or less back in control of my facilities. I can see the err of my ways in this cold light of day. What a wretched thing I had become. Uh, whoa, you're way different now. Charmed, I'm sure. But I can't tell you how wonderful it is to meet with those who share my passion for confabulation. 
was quite a rare thing to find in the Forbidden Sea, even under the most ideal of circumstances. And I've been in that awful state of feeble-mindedness for some time now. Often in life, events push us to our very limits. The realisation that we are ultimately limited in our understanding of the mysteries we are confronting can be quite taxing. I, for one, am left reeling after my recent ordeal, grasping for meaning, I suppose. Some sort of deeper appreciation of the inherent limitations imposed by the actualization of existence. <laughs> um, ah, yes, those inherent limitations. Poppycock and Pillbox, stay and have a tall glass of palaver with me. <laughs> Don't mean to be glib, just feeling back to my old pontificating self again. Everything around us is exposed to this fascinating new power. Have you no wish to ruminate deeply? Breathe in those beefy undertones of the cosmic self? Then surely this is the meta! Oh my god. This is how it all fits together. I've been there, tangled up in the tendrils of those awesome currents. Plunged deep into the pulsating epicenter of the existential self. That sounds like a lot. You must think me quite loquacious. I think that's the point, yeah. That might be true. Believe me, I've considered such perceptions. I can't say the words such perceptions very easily, can I? Still, many tenets of our intelligence remain excruciatingly unarticulated. Perhaps some higher form of communication will emerge over time. Nothing comprehensive. As mortal beings, all we can hope for is minor incremental improvements. The opening of conduits betwixt one such as myself and beings like you sailors there. While no means definitive, a trivial gesture of trust could perhaps break the ice? If you'll excuse such horrific imagery. Yes, let's manifest this bond into reality. I must insist that this wretched dead rock leave the frigid peaks under your oversight. That's what we were here for anyway. Worry not, I trust it to you being of sound mind and frosty body. Thanks. We got a dead rock! And a fish. <laughs> We're gonna catch his toe. <laughs> All right. Thanks, sir. Uh, I think. Maybe thanks a little less for the philosophy lecture. But oh, we're gonna hit our friend, aren't we? Oh no, we just about missed him. Okay. But uh, but thanks for the rock. Also, it's nice to know that we didn't murder Because we, we were going to do what we did, whether or not it involved murdering you. <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all we got time for today on sale for. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet, because I am going to set us up for a wee little raidy poos. Uh, thank you also so much for, for coming to a decisive... Uh, 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 well... A decision, I suppose. A decisive decision? We're going to go with a decisive decision, for sure, uh, regarding uh, LEGO Dinosaurs. Uh, just a reminder that we have two streams worth of voting left. In fact, I might even be able to show you the uh, the polling bracket, mightn't I? That would probably be very helpful to you. Uh, but only if... So yes, uh, as a reminder, uh, I'm going to build a LEGO thing. It's going to be my first ever IRL stream. It's really exciting. That'll be happening Tuesday next week. Uh, we've already done a bunch of voting. I can add now actually live in front of all of you. Uh, I can add the results of today's vote. Uh, we did the chunky one yesterday. And, oops, Ankylosaurus won that one. Uh, today we did a fluffy one, and the victor of our fluffy poll uh, was the Gastornis. So let us pop that on, Gastornis. There we go, wonderful, marvellous. Uh, yeah, so we have one more round of uh, kind of proper voting, which will be for famous dinos, uh, and then on... Monday, which will be uh, not Man Hit Mondays or Mugging Mondays as they have previously been, uh, but because of uh, Uni Schedule for Shaka, we are moving Friendship Fridays, when they'll be Friendship Mondays? Question mark? 
and and uh, stealth games will be happening on another day of the week. We'll find out what that is at some point when I sort out that bit of the schedule. Um, so yeah, tomorrow the final heat, and then Monday will be a runoff between the four dinosaur winners and a runoff between the two modern winners. And on Tuesday, right before I build stuff for you, uh, you'll be able to decide out of the four overall category winners exactly what it is that I'm going to build. Uh, and it'll be really exciting. Numa says, mate, mate Mondays. We'll run it by Shaka. We'll workshop it. <laughs> um, <laughs> to be fair, I've done my fair share of mating on the, the Baldur's Gate streams. Uh, so I suppose it's not necessarily that inappropriate. Um, let me see. Who is live? Who are we going to raid? Um, people doing some art. Actually, quite a lot of people are live at the moment. Uh, do, 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 do. Some people playing Stardew. Should we go over and say hi to someone playing Stardew? I think it's kind of a, a similarly chill vibe. I think it's the best I got out of my live list. Let's go say hi to Moon Meadow. Uh... Also get rid of this display catcher. Boop. There's that. Give you back a transition screen. Uh what spell? Moon. Not mo Mopon. Moon. Never. There we go. <laughs> you're running that as a as a quote, boom boom. Um yes. You all know the drill. Uh, you're all wonderful beans. Uh, I am super proud and happy to have you all in my chat. Uh, make sure that they are just as, as uh, blessed as I am to have you guys there. I uh, want to say a big thanks to everyone for stopping by. King Girl, Artemis, Boom Boom, Shaka was in here earlier. Thanks so much as well to Spurious Plays for the follow and for, for being around as a, a first time chatter. It's lovely to have you along for the ride and I do hope to see you again. Uh, yes, Baldur's Gate 3 uh, tomorrow from noon and then again Monday. That'll be at 6pm until sometime after 6 p.m. <laughs> I don't think we know exactly how long we're going for yet. Uh, but maybe it'll be uh, an excuse to have longer Baldur's Gate 3 streams, potentially. Um, <laughs> I'll leave that up to your very active and fertile imagination, King Girl. In the meantime, uh, you can find me on my YouTube channel down in the comments, uh, down in the description even. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, welcome Vodlings. Make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. And then come over to Twitch and give me a follow here so you can see all of these things as they happen. I'll maybe get to working on that uh, Dizzy Discord. Uh, I'll also figure out what other goals and such things I want to have. Uh, but for now, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you enjoy your raids. Ta everyone. Bye.